What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to do laser cutting on reverse sides of items. So, uh, for example, I've got the design here of a door hanger and I want to engrave on the front and the back and obviously it's not just one straight shape. So, to make it easier, I always do this in pairs. So, uh, instead of just doing Let's, uh, let's just select that one and we'll delete that out for a second. Instead of just doing this one and then trying to mess about and line up to get this, the writing for the other side centered again, uh, I just do two. So I, I cut both of these out at the same time. I do both of the engravings for the front and the back. And then I'll, I'll flip this one over to this side and this one over to this side so that it sits into the slot where we cut it out for the last one and just do the engraving again and that will uh, allow you to do the front and the back and have everything centered and aligned just how you want it. So we'll go over to the laser and I'll show you how this is done. Uh, I'm doing it on acrylic as well, so we'll go from there. All right, so we're over at the laser. We've got everything lined up, ready to go. I'm going to do the raster engraving at around six milliamp power. Um, 350 millimeters a second. So they're cut out now. Should just pop right out. So you set your template back in there. And you take the one from this side, flip it over. And you take the uh, protective layer off this time. And you drop it into that slot. Do the same for this side. And drop that into that slot. And then we just do the engraving again. See, you do get a bit of uh, overspray from the extractor taking the fumes away. But you just give it a quick wipe off and it comes off nice and clear. Again, on the other side. And now, you have both sides mirrored. And you don't have to mess about lining up. Nice and easy, nice and quick. So whenever you're doing things like this, if you need to do two slightly different designs, then you might have to do a little bit more messing about, but it's a lot easier if you do two of the same design. And if you do one design, chances are somebody else is going to want one. So just do another one and keep it to the side until somebody wants to buy it. it saves you doing another one next time. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.